Telephone management systems play a vital role in any voice network. Thankfully, we have the right solution. Today, we're going to be looking at our brand Ecos that works harmoniously with our Grandstream PBX. Here's a how-to guide on how to set up your Ecos and integrate it with your PBX. Enjoy. In this tutorial, we'll be showing you how to integrate the Ecos telephone management system with your Grandstream UCM. The first thing we need to do is to set up the API that will allow the TMS software to authenticate with our UCM. To do this, we need to navigate to the value added features on the left hand side at the very bottom of the UCM web interface. Once you're there, click on the value added features. Go to API configuration. We first need to enable API configuration as it is by default disabled by the UCM. Now that we have enabled API configuration, we need to take note of the port number. In this case, it's 8443. Now this is the same port we will configure in the ECOS software later on. Next, we need to configure a username and a password. You can change this to whatever you'd like. Just take note of it since we will use these credentials later on to authenticate from the ECOS software. Under the permitted IPs, you need to enter the IP address of the computer that is currently running the ECOS software. Lastly, enable CDR API under the API module settings. Once you have done this, click on save and then apply changes. And that wraps up the configuration steps for the Grandstream UCM. Next, we are going to configure our ECOS software. For this demonstration, we will be using the ECOS DX10 dongle. This dongle will serve as an unlocking key for you to use the utilities of the ECOS software and needs to be inserted into the computer or dedicated server running ECOS. Now, even if you have the DX10 dongle plugged into the computer, you still need to unlock the software using a password. There are two default accounts for ECOS. The one we'll be using for this demonstration is the admin account, which gives you full administrative control including making any configuration changes to the software. To gain access to the admin permission level, simply enter the password admin when prompted. The second is the user account. This will give you a read-only access without the ability to change any configurations. Next, we need to configure our call filters. These are what helps the TMS capture relevant and useful data from the Grandstream PBX without gathering unnecessary data. First, navigate to the Settings tab in ECOS and click on Filter. Then, click on Load Filter on the right-hand tab. Next, click on the drop-down menu to view the full range of compatible PBX systems. Look for the appropriate PBX model in this list and select it. In our case, we are using a Grandstream UCM series PBX. We will select the Grandstream UCM filter 1. Once selected, click on load and then confirm to load the filter. Now you have the ability to make changes to this filter based on your specific needs and save that as a custom call filter with a different name. Then we are going to follow the exact same steps to load our second filter. Simply click on filter 2 and be sure to select the Grandstream UCM Filter 2 under the PBX System Filter drop-down. Lastly, we are going to configure a fixed filter. Click on the fixed filter and make sure to enable the filter if it is not already enabled. Under the Options drop-down, select the Grandstream UCM API Filter preset and then click on Apply. Once we are done applying our filters, we now have to tell the ECOS software how to communicate with our Grandstream PBX. To do this, we need to click on the DX10 dongle settings menu. Then, select the HTTP protocol tab. The first thing we need to do is configure data time sync. This tells ECOS when to start gathering information from the UCM. Simply click on data time sync and select the date and time. Once you have done that, you need to enter the IP address of your Grandstream PBX in the UCM IP address field, along with the port number we mentioned earlier. If you did not change the TLS port in the UCM settings earlier, you can leave the default number in place. You also need to enter the username 
and password which we configured in our UCM earlier. Once we have done so, we can now initiate communication between our GrantStream UCM and the ECAST TMS. Simply click on the Communicate checkbox and configure the request interval. This defines how often ECAST will update its data references from the PBX. If you want to confirm whether your configurations were successful, you can use the Debug View tool under the View tab. This will show you the communication taking place in real time between your GrantStream PBX and the ECAST TMS. We hope you have enjoyed this walkthrough on how to integrate your ECAST dongle with your GrantStream PBX. Would you like to see more of these videos? Let us know in the comments section below. Like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.